everybody welcome back to my channel and to another video i hope you are all doing really really well in today's video i'm going to be comparing two different toner foils the one that i have bought is from sheen or Shein. this is the rainbow one here and this is relatively cheap it's um, £2.50 and you get five meters of foil on there um, which works out to be about 50p a, a meter the other one that I'm going to be using today in this video is from Patsy uk, and I use quite a lot of her different foils for different projects and this one is the silver metallic that I'm using here this one is um, £10 for 15 meters, so 60 pence a meter so a little bit more money for this one this one is the mink one I won't be sharing this one with you today because this is the one that is designed to be used with the machine because this is their own brand now I am blowing out the result of this because I don't want you to see it just yet um, this is what we're going to be making today these are some little crochet coasters that my daughter's been making and she's got a little school fate thing in December that she's going to be selling these in little packs so I said well I'll make you some little tags to go on them and this is what I decided to do so that is the subject of the video um, I don't want you to see what it's come out like as I've just said because it's going to be really shocking to you I think if you're into foiling you're going to be really surprised let's jump straight in and see how we get on with this lovely technique of foiling so Shelby's been making these coasters for sale in the shop and these ones actually turn into little flowers and can be attached to the front of greetings cards and stuff but what she's been doing is making some of these to sell in like packs of four so she needs some packaging to go along with it so she's put some little bits of ribbon around it and made them look pretty but I think she still needs something to go along with it so I'm just going to move my foils out of the way so I have come up with this design in design space it's just a super simple tag that we're going to put onto the little packets of coasters and I've printed it out now the print quality is not that good from design space so if you're able to use a different package like procreate or affinity for instance any one of those will work and you'll get a much better print but because these are just for packaging and it's only to sort of put in the shop as a little bit of extra so that people know exactly what they are I haven't decided to go mad with that at the moment so I've printed out two copies these are on 180 GSM white smooth cardstock from Hobbycraft and then I've also got this one just on copy paper which is printed out randomly because the printer went a bit haywire so I've got two copies exactly the same here now what you're going to need for this if you are starting out with foiling there are a few different things that you're going to need so um, I am in this video going to be using a couple of different types of foil and the one I've got here to test is actually from Sheen or Sheen whatever you want to call it this is a um, toner foil that is supposed to be just as good as the Patsy May which I normally use or the actual Heidi Swap Mink uh, reactive foil so you need to make sure that it is for toner printing it won't work if it's a hot quilling type of foil you need the one that is designed to be used with laminating systems and that's basically what we're going to do I'm just going to compare the feel of them first of all to see if I feel as though there is any difference and um, that one doesn't really feel any different to this one the only thing that is a bit different on this you might not be able to pick it up on the camera but there are lines on this but that is exactly the same as the mink one which is here and this one has lines as you can see there if you look really really carefully at that so I would say they feel exactly the same the sheen on the foil looks the same it's really nice and bright the colors are amazing so bear in mind that the color that you see on the outside is what color your foil is going to be when it's stuck onto your toner so the colors are really vibrant nice and bright one thing I do also really like about this is the fact that it comes in this tube so when I finish with it I can pop it back in that tube 
and then it's in there nice and safe and I haven't got to worry about when it's on my shelf it getting dusty obviously the mink one comes in the acetate packaging but the Patsy May one doesn't it just comes like this and I do find sometimes if my little sticker isn't on it properly when it's on the shelf I stand them up like this and they come open sometimes and the bottom corner does get damaged so it would be better if there were a bit more packaging for this one maybe even just a plastic sleeve or something that you could put this in to store it without worrying about it getting damaged but um, the winner on the sort of storage front is definitely this one you can hang it up by this handy hook on the top or you could just stand it up like that so it's definitely a good one um, second place comes the mink because obviously it comes in a package but it's a bit cumbersome and a bit big and last place for storage is definitely this one so let's get on to putting this onto some of our design and see how it works so this is the mink that I use it's the 12 inch one it's the big one not the mini one there are two different types of mink that you can get I'm going to just turn mine on with the switch on the back and then I'm just going to put my temperature setting up to number three. So I'm just going to leave my mink to heat up whilst I get the rest of my stuff ready to go. So let's flick back to the overhead. So there's a couple of different things that you need to do when you're foiling to make sure that you get a really good adherence. This is just a makeup brush that I use. So I just use this just to dust off any little bits that may be on my print. As you can see here, potentially, maybe not, you might not be able to see it on the camera, there are a couple of little bits of glitter and stuff on there so it's important to get rid of those anything that is in the way even the tiniest bit of glitter or hair that might be on top of that print is actually going to stop that foil from sticking to it so first of all i'm going to do um, a patsy may one in this silver this is patsy may toner foiling foil and this is um, a really good quality one i use it quite often so i know it works so what I'm going to do is just get my piece of foil and I'm going to cut it so that it is big enough to cover that whole sheet. So let's just cut that off. All right, there we go. Let's just put that on there. I've got a piece of paper inside of my folder here and the reason that I've got that in there is because when I do one that is smaller and I'm just using a tiny piece I cover up the rest of the design with just a piece of paper because when the piece goes through the mink machine what it does is heats up and that toner then becomes sticky hence how it sticks to your foil but if you have got that exposed that toner is going to get sticky and then it's going to stick to your mink folder which is what this is and then it makes it dirty as you can see i had to learn the hard way i don't need that piece of paper now because this one is covering up the whole sheet so let's just pop that into that carrying folder and what you want to do is just smooth it out try and make sure there's no wrinkles in it like there is at the top it doesn't really matter too much at the top you want to make sure it's as flat as you can to give it a good press down and then you'll want to just pop it into your mink and it's going to pass through the machine and heat it up and hopefully that foil is going to stick to the design underneath so let me point you back at the mink and we'll watch it go through the machine all right so here's the machine it's heated up because that light's turned green now so what i'm going to do is really carefully just pass it into the machine and there's rollers inside so it's going to grab it And then it just goes through the machine on its own. All right, so it's come out the other side. As you can see, it has stuck to that by the looks of things. You can see the indentations of the design. I'm just going to lift it up and take out the whole thing. I'm not going to lift that foil off yet because we're going to do that at the end when we've got the other one done so let's just put this to one side for now and then do the sheen one so again exactly the same print came out exactly the same um i didn't change the settings or anything in between i didn't use a bleed 
I just did it on regular as it comes out print. So this is the Sheen one. I've got to try and get it open. Don't know how much you get on this. Don't know. We'll have to have a look at the listing and see what it says. Um, it is stuck together with a little sticker. I hate that. Why do they do that? You don't be able to get that off very easily. Right, there we go, got that off. Now this looks exactly the same. Let's put it down. It's not as wide as the Patsy May one. It's nice colours though. Okay, let's just put that back into its little tub. Put the lid back on. Right, so I just need to do the dust off again. Just going to make sure, double check that that's all clean. Looks all right on the back. It's going to be interesting to see how this comes out. So let's put that onto there. What I'm going to do actually as well is just grab a couple of bits of plain paper. I probably should have done this with the other one as well because it's going to be difficult to cut on the Cricut now. Um, I'm just going to cover up those registration marks because otherwise it's going to be difficult for me to cut that. Just put it down with a bit of washi tape. It won't hurt because it's not going to set fire to it or melt it or anything like that. It's just paper tape. If you're doing this before, I'd probably recommend that you cut your project before you um, foil it. And I do usually do that, but just because of using it for a video, I thought I would just leave it all together and do it at the end on my own. Because you don't need to see that part in, right. So that is done. Let's pop that into the carrier. If you haven't got a carrier, you can use two pieces of relatively decent quality cardstock if you wanted to. Let's just move that over a little bit. Just want to make sure it's nice and flat again. So we're going to smooth it out with our hands and again let's pass it through the mink and see what happens. Now that that's out of there, I'm just going to turn that mink off at the switch and then I'm also going to unplug it from the wall because it is a laminator so it does get hot, so just for safety reasons. Let's take this out of the transfer wallet again, again keeping that nice and flat on there. There we can. Just get that out of there. There we go. Put that to one side. Now again, I can see where it's stuck to that design on there. It looks very similar to how this one has stuck. So let's just do this one first and zoom in because I'm quite interested to see how this has come up. It's really important that you let it cool. So it feels cool to the touch now. Let's pick that up. Wow, I am very impressed. That's what it will look like when it's done. So all this is where the toner has taken that foil off of this sheet and you can see through it as well. You can see the design on there. You can't use that again, unfortunately. Let's put it in the bin. Let's just move all these bits of paper off here. You can see where it's stuck to the washi tape. Just take these off. Okay. That is absolutely perfect. I can't believe how good that's come out. Can you see the shimmer on that and the colours? It's amazing. 
even with the Patsy May stuff, I wasn't expecting that because I've had problems with the Patsy May and the mink coming out spotty, even when I've dusted it. But that is absolutely unbelievable. For the price of it, amazing. Right, here's the silver Patsy May. Let's peel it back again absolutely flawless same again it's stuck to that well i wasn't expecting that to be as good as the patsy may i was really expecting it to be an issue but it's unbelievable i'm absolutely thrilled by it crazy i'm actually speechless lost words um so yeah this stuff from sheen 100% recommend, really, really brilliant piece of foil. If you're using it for toner foiling, knock yourself out. I'm going to go and buy some more later. Hopefully they've still got it. I will put the links down below for you so you can see how much it is and all that sort of thing. Compared to the Patsy May, we'll put the Patsy May link down there for you as well. And this one is the mink only. This is from Hobbycraft. It's £11. And you don't get very much. You get three metres for £11. So it's quite a lot of money for not a lot. So, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, drop me any questions or comments that you've got down below. And I'm going to go and cut these out now, and I'll see you again for another video. Take care, bye!